Hi, my name is Pavel Kaduchka and today I'd like to show you Vintage Studio. This is a Visual Studio 2010 based ID for Vintage computers. Let's go ahead and create the first our first program. So first we'll create a new project. We'll select Commodore 64 and click OK. The project has been created. So now let's try to build this project. As you can see, build has succeeded. So let's see what will happen if our project contained an, an error. Let's build it then. And as you can see, the errors were displayed in the error pane. So let's fix the typo and build it again. And now let's try running the program. So let's go to debug start without debugging an emulator window opened and the program was executed in the in this emulator window depending on the emulator you are using you can also debug uh, your program let's try doing this so let's go to debug start debugging and as you can see the emulator opened the debugger window where you can step over your program uh, and debug. So let's take a look at the editor. The first you can, the first thing you can see is uh, syntax coloring. As you can see, labels, instructions, or numbers have all their own colors. You can change the colors if you go to the tools menu and then select options, uh, then select fonts and colors. And here are all the different categories you can change colors for. Let's change uh, color of the instruction. Spotted lime. As you can see, the color has changed. Now let's revert this change. Uh, now let's copy a bit bigger program. And as you can see, the program is pretty poorly formatted, but this can be easily fixed. You just go to the Edit menu, select Advance, and select Format Document, and now, we can, as you can see, the program was uh, formatted correctly. Another option is like uh, formatting on the fly. So let's see if you type the program, it will be fixed for you immediately when you type, when you press enter, it just fixed. You can put number like that, it will be fixed. Uh, so uh, the program is clean, not only on demand, but also when you type it. Another option that you probably know from when you, if you program in Visual C Sharp or VB.net is that you can comment uh, a block of code. So let's select the blob of code and then you can go to the edit menu, select advanced and you've got a common selection. As a, and as you can see the uh, selected lines were commented out. Now we can also use keyboard to uncomment or comment. Let's use Control KU. As you can see it was uncommented. Let's uncomment this code. Let's try running it to see that it works. It built. Now uh, we are waiting for the emulator. As you can see, the program runs fine in the emulator. Out of the box, you can create programs for Commodore 64 computers, Commodore VIC-20, and Atari 8-bit computers. We have already seen a program for Commodore 64 computers, so let's quickly create a project for Commodore VIC-20. Uh, we will create a new project. We'll select Commodore VIC-20 from the uh, installed templates. Click OK. This program just write hello world. So let's build it. It's built successfully and now let's run the program. Emulator is starting. As you can see, the program was run and execute correctly. Now let's take a look at the Atari 8-bit program. So again, we'll create a new project. 
this time we'll select Atari 8-bit, click OK, open, again this program will just uh, print hello world on the screen. So let's run it. All right, it works. So today I, sh I showed you Vintage Studio, a Visual Studio 2010 based ID for vintage computers. I hope you will play with it and have fun and happy coding. Thank you.